Hi, this is Marco Williams with Hashbang Games, and I wanted to do a video tutorial on how to uh, use or link up uh, your OUYA controller to a character controller inside of Unity. Uh, now, this assumes that you already have your um, SDK set up. Uh, if you don't have that set up yet, um, you'll need to get that set up, and you can come. Uh, right up into the uh, forums on Ouya and uh, find this post uh, it's stickied that uh, it's Ouya Unity Package Videos and Tim Groupman he put all of these really good videos together that will get you up and running uh, pretty quickly um, <coughs> uh, and then once you've completed that you can uh, go ahead and, and finish this tutorial and we can get um, a character set up. So what I have is a, a little skeleton guy and the skeleton guy has uh, some default animations that, uh, that I had. Now I got this guy out of the Unity Asset Store. He's free. Um, you can uh, go into the Unity Asset Store and pretty much apply this uh, what I'm going to show you to any character that you have <coughs> um, and I'm going to show you how to link up these animate some of these animations to button presses uh, so the first thing you want to do is get your character add them to the scene uh, let's put in some some lighting uh, you don't have to but I like to and uh, let me actually turn the shade of this down a little bit because as soon as I put my plane in there, it kind of washes out. So uh, we're going to go ahead and add a cube. And you can use a, just a plane for this, but I like using a cube. So I'm going to go ahead and make this nice and big. Give me plenty of room to walk around. There we go. And it still looks a little washed out, so I'm going to maybe turn down the intensity a little bit. So what we want to do is add a character controller to this guy. Uh, so if we go component, physics, character controller, it's the default character controller that comes with Unity. Um, and you'll see here that he has a, a collider, and it's not really um, surrounding his whole body, so we're going to fix that. Uh, we also probably want to move him up a little bit or else he's going to fall right through the floor. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and set the height to 5 um, and the radius to 1 so that the radius of this surrounds his body. And we want to, we want to bring this um, collider up a bit. So we're going to go, let's, what, no, that's not high enough. Let's go to, there we go. So now it is surrounding him. Uh, he's a little high off the platform, but uh, that's okay because he'll drop down onto it when we're, when we're all done. <coughs> um, so in order to handle this and make him move around, um, there are some basic uh, you know, character controller examples out there. Um, it's actually under character controller move. And this is the basic, let's move your character around. Um, and not much in this actually changes. Um, and we're going to almost use this as is. So uh, I'm in C sharp, so I'm gonna go ahead and convert that to C sharp. And we're going to create a, a uh, an input handler. So um, actually I already created the script, but uh, you can come in here make a C sharp script call it uh, input handler and we're gonna add that to the skeleton character so I'm gonna go ahead and drag that on him and uh, we're gonna go ahead and open open this up here <coughs> actually you know what I'll just grab this whole thing here and we'll just remove what we don't want so let's see, I'll get rid of the start too. Paste 
paste this in here. We will need the start, but um, or maybe we just need no, we need the awake. So I'm gonna actually add that now. Okay, so um, here we're gonna end up ha handling uh, the Ouya SDK, but um, first let's let's get our con uh, character controller kind of just just set up a little bit. So I don't need I don't need to, the jump speed, um, and I we'll go ahead and keep the standard speed. That's pretty good. Gravity, sure and move direction that looks good um, what we do want is to take this out of the update because this is just not really good for performance so I'm going to actually take that out private character controller and we can leave it there and we will just do this one time So now we kind of just have, um, we can remove this because we're not going to be jumping. So the way that this is set up, it's just using the input get access horizontal and the, the vertical. And I actually don't really like this because it moves you forward and backward and right and left, but it doesn't really rotate your character and that's kind of a, a, a problem. So um, what I, I rather do is be able to, to rotate our, our character as we run around. So we want to actually do that by um, <coughs> uh, doing a transform.rotate. So uh, rotate and we want to only rotate on the x-axis so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and that and uh, we want the x-axis here and we're gonna end up changing this once we get input from the controller but for now I'm just going to um, actually you know what we'll do this we'll set up a nice vector point so what, vector 2 point equals new vector 2 and we'll go ahead and pass in our axis here and we'll give one so this is x and y right x and y so x is horizontal there we go so now we can actually just kind of go point dot x and I only have to change it in one place uh, and we want to uh, we don't want this to just snap to a direction we kind of want it to have a turn speed so uh, let's do that turn speed and we can declare that ah. let's declare that variable public float turn speed equals uh, I've done this before so I'm setting it to 60 and that's pretty good pretty good turn speed um, and we're gonna want to multiply this uh, and we don't want and we're gonna want to multiply it by time dot delta time time dot delta time <coughs> and so if we look at what we're setting values for um, <coughs> we are setting the Y angle, but we're not changing the angle of the Z or the X. So that way he only turns as he's turning left and right and he kind of uh, rotates to where we're, where we're going. 